Those aren't octopus eggs he's eating. That's actually octopus sperm. Let me explain. So when octopuses mate, the male octopus will pass his sperm to the female in a packet known as a spermatophore. And that is what those were. Internally, the male will have a whole bunch of these, all bound up in a structure called the needum sac inside his mantle, and that's what he was cutting at the beginning of the video. During mating, the male will put his third right arm into the mantle of the female. And he'll place one of those spermaphores in the base of that third right arm, and there's a specialized groove that'll pass it to the end of that arm. And at the end of that third right arm, the male has this special structure called a ligula that will place that spermatophore into the female oviduct. The inside of the spermatophore actually is quite a bit saltier than seawater. And because it's saltier than seawater, it draws a lot of water into it and it builds up pressure. The sperm is contained inside the spermatophore in this tube known as a sperm rope. And the increased pressure in the spermatophore will shoot the sperm out of the sperm rope into the female oviduct, and that's how insemination happens. Now, to the casual observer, octopus eggs and octopus spermatophores look quite a bit alike, so I don't blame him for making this mistake. We can tell the spermatophores first based on their size. Virtually all octopus species that humans consume are what is known as small-egged octopuses. The eggs of these species are about the size of a grain of rice. Even the giant Pacific octopus, the largest species on the planet, has eggs no bigger than this. And also, if you look closely, you can see the sperm rope in these. So yeah, those were octopus spermatophores. To avoid this in the future, I would suggest checking the sex of the octopus before you eat it, or, you know, just don't eat octopuses.